I gave this hydrangea to my neighbor a few years ago now and I'm not sure what color we were going for. I'm not sure if she said she wanted blue or pink or whatever. But she's been putting coffee grounds on it. One, it's in a perfect spot, like right here. But it's gonna bloom pink and purple. So if you want blue blooms with a hydrangea, you have to drive nails down into the base of it. Now I, let me come across the driveway here. I have my babies that are too small to bloom, so I'll just have to enjoy hers for a bit. I have three, I have one there. That one might bloom. And let me come back down through here and there's the second one. Oh, this one, actually, I think this is the oldest one and that will actually bloom. And then I have another one way down here. He needs a little TLC. He's definitely not gonna bloom this year. I have no idea what color they are. My neighbor shared her Shasta daisies with me and they're blooming. Oh, look how pretty. She was just telling me that the only thing about Shasta daisies is you do have to deadhead them. Now, my pink phlox, just got it, just planted it. It's struggling a little bit, that's okay. First year, it's gonna put more energy into growing roots than it is to maintain that flower that was on there. But look how pretty the pink, the white, and the purple, the purple from the lavender how that looks together. Of course, with all the different shades of green. I think this is why gardeners get so excited. <laughs> and this is getting ready to bloom. And these will have little yellow flowers on them. I just dug this tomato plant out from that hole right there. There was rocks around it. It was growing up against the bricks. Now I gotta go transplant it. My neighbor just showed me that her eggplants are fruiting already. And we're, what, not even to the end of June and she already has things she can pick. Okay. Essentially, I shouldn't be doing this on a 90 degree day, but I had to save my plant. Let me put it down in there. I gotta water it. So, in between my What a Mess series, I'm also admiring all my flowers and, in this case, saving a tomato plant. Saw these on a walk. Oh my goodness, they are beautiful. When I bought this plant, which is the Purple Queen, I did not know that it was going to bloom. I just wanted, as the color contrast, to the other plants that I was putting in this planter and on top of it it rained last night and down there in the leaves is water it's time to say goodbye to all the beautiful blooms on my rhododendron but here's something I'm noticing look at all the new growth It is everywhere. There's some really tall ones up there. So bye-bye blooms. Hello, new growth. I am so happy with the results of this rhododendron. When we bought this house six years ago, it looked horrible. I didn't know if I was going to be able to save it. I just started working on it, just doing anything and everything I can. And then I was just like, it's up to you, plant. <laughs> it's up to you. And the way it turned out this year with all those blooms that I talked about in all my previous videos, I couldn't be happier. And it should be even more blooms next year. 
I completely failed as a gardener in this area. I dug up other plants out of here that didn't do well and I put in new ones. This year I put in a bunch of portulaca and look at them. Oh, you think I can save them? I'm going to transplant them along with those few vincas that I had back here. In fact, the one vinca's gone. It's not even here anymore. It's just completely disappeared. <laughs> and there's only two on this side, or maybe I only had two. I don't know. I knew the chipmunks kept digging the one plant out from here. So then I dug it out and put it right there. And now they don't care about that hole anymore. Go figure. Chipmunks are not good co-workers. Let's see if I can save these. I'm just going to do this low-tech way. I'm just going to reach in here, grab the plant, and just walk on up here. Find a planter. Any random planter will do. This one will do. And I'm just going to, I'm going to put it right in there. I got to dig a hole. Let me put it over on this side. I'm going to dig a hole. So I'm going to put some of this dirt over here. And I'm going to put this down in here. Perhaps it will be saved. I should have done this three, three weeks ago. I should have done this. In my attempt to save my portulaca, I put another one in the back there. And then over here, I put the two vinca. These are the pale pink ones. I should have put those in there to begin with. One's right there. I know it's kind of tight up on that other one, but it's supposed to be like this. And then I have two of the portulaca in here. And then the other two are right here. So even though I failed as a gardener in the back, I'm going to try to save them by putting them in my pots here. I would love to see some blooms. They really haven't been able to bloom at all this season because they were back there and it was too shady. It was the wrong, the wrong area. And I'm going to have to think of what can I put back in there? Because I really want some color back there. Maybe I should have tried something more hardy, like begonias. A pretty red begonia would look really pretty back there. So, Or pinks. I love all colors of begonias. But I have to think about something different back there for next year. I just filmed this flower on top of my purple queen this morning. And look, thank goodness I showed it to you guys earlier in the video because now it's all folded in on itself it was just so perfectly pretty this morning look how beautiful my neighbor's hydrangea bloomed and this is my first bloom i'm so excited thanks for watching